Hey everyone and welcome back. Just want to show a quick video on some things that I've been uh, focusing on lately. Uh, I kind of highlighted it or prefaced it in my last video showing that 96 uh, Kobe Bryant uh, starting lineup. You can see I got a stack of starting lineups in front of me. You know what's funny, as, as a kid I grew up uh, in the 80s. So born in 76, so I remember started collecting uh, Star Wars figures in the early 80s. Then I kind of transitioned into G.I. Joe. And then about 87, I kind of got more into uh, collecting sports cards. That's when I bought my first pack of baseball cards. And then in 1988 came out the uh, the starting lineup uh, by Kenner, who originally had started the uh, the Star Wars figurine craze back in the late 70s. So uh, every, everyone was, you know, it was all the rage, primarily baseball, right? So uh, I remember going to the local Shopco store and buying uh, several starting lineups with my limited budget and opening them up because I just couldn't, I couldn't resist uh, ripping up in those packages. So uh, the other day, uh, while purchasing some other items, I came across this right here, this Galoob uh, All-Star MVPs. It's got the, uh, the Los Angeles Lakers. It does a couple teams and uh, it has Kobe Bryant in here. So I, I just picked it up for a few bucks as uh, just like, okay, that's a little interesting odd Paul piece. I didn't even know what I was doing, what I was getting. But what it did is opened up my algorithm on eBay to all these starting lineup things. And I thought, wow, I didn't even realize these starting lineups had any value. Because back when I was a kid, because uh, a lot of folks saved them as collectible items, they uh, they just kind of, you know, they pile up, they're awkward. And then it came to be a point like you couldn't give these things away at some point. But now they're all the rage. You see the Kobe over here. This one's on the rise. This starting lineup card is uh, is hard to grade, and uh, comes at a pretty uh, steep price. And another one that's been all the rage is this Michael Jordan. Now this is the second one I bought. Uh, this card's off center, you know, and it's starting to warp. It's just these things, you know. Th what is this? About 30, 33 years old. So uh, you can tell though it's pretty cool. Now the thing that I that caught me started too. I was looking up to see about getting some GI Joe figurines from the mid '80s, like in original uh, packaging, and they are hard to find on eBay. Uh, there's some reproductions that are selling for hundreds of dollars, and let alone the original. So I thought, man, uh, Star Wars figurines those have been through the roof for years now. GI Joe through the roof. Is there, uh, you know, are these starting lineups valuable? So uh, I decided to pick up a couple. Like I said, I never had any basketball. My friend's brother had that Michael Jordan. I always wanted it. Uh, but I never saw You must have had to go to KB Toy Store or something. The, the local uh, department store I ever shop at didn't have these. So I went about picking up some of the, uh, the 1988 starting lineup basketball, primarily basketball. Uh, just the stuff that I never had a chance to pick up. There's Magic Johnson. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, I think I got this for less than $10. So the Jordan right now, um, I bought my Jordan. I, I paid over $200 for the Kobe and the Jordan. Those seem to be the only ones that are really at a high price right now. Uh, I'm not doing this as a, as a collectible. This is really a nostalgia piece, like trying to collect these, uh, these, these toys from my youth that are still in their package, like this Charles Barkley. I mean, these are greats, you know. And back when I was picking up uh, 86 Fleer Basketball, you know, the Jordan was through the roof, but I was just picking up the Barkley, you know, picking up the the uh, Magic Johnson, the Larry Bird, you know, for 20 bucks here, 20 bucks there. Same thing I'm doing with these starting lineups. Uh, really uh, reminiscent. This is actually Mark Jackson's rookie. There's some that are a little bit uh, more scarce than others. Uh, I'm doing some research on it because that's still a new thing for me. You know, like the Utah Jazz ones are very rare. Uh, you can see on the back, it has a checklist of all the teams and all the players. The Dominique. This one's got a little bit, what you call, yellowing over here over time. It's yellowed. But the, the card is in good uh, shape in the, in the inside. It looks like it's a really good shape. This Larry Bird is a little, it's, it's got some moisture damage, it looks like. And the card looks a little warped. But still a cool piece. I mean... I would have loved to have this one as a kid. Uh, like I said, I didn't see much of the basketball. My friend's brother had that MJ one, but I think his mom must have bought that at a, at a toy store that I didn't. Uh, my parents did not take me to. Uh, the Elijah one. That's it for my uh, 
for my 88 collection. I maybe have one or two more on, on order, but uh, one other thing I did, because that Kobe one is going through the roof, I thought maybe it would be time to go and get the Iverson rookie as well. So I picked that up, and I could see that these like were exponentially growing. Uh, this is in pretty good shape considering it's uh, 25 years old. This is in really nice shape. Um, so these Iverson rookies, they say starting lineup on it. That's how they're different, and they're not quite. They don't have the uh, the finish of the traditional Skybox Premium. This is the extended series in uh, 96, just like the Kobe. So it's a true rookie. He has a uh, a 97 as well. That's a little different. And let me just... Sorry, I had to step away for a minute. I had to grab this to show you this. So this is the 97 edition. And this is uh, Ray Allen. If you recognize, this is the Ray Allen. This is his rookie card, Topps. Uh, I... It's made by Tops, but it says starting lineup on it, and it's fairly rare. Although these are really cheap, uh, I think I paid around ten dollars. Uh, I got a couple of these Ray Allen's. Uh, so this says ninety six. Now uh, this one is actually cheaper than the Iverson's ninety seven version because it has his ninety six Tops card in it, which is I guess more desirable. So. Uh, that led me to believe that if for those of you who maybe want to look at this as an investment opportunity, that these Ray Allens right now are cheap uh, at around $10 to $15 max with shipping. Uh, these cards right here are very scarce. Uh, they seem to be holding up okay in the blister here, but uh, but who knows. But you can get a variation of rookies here. You can get the, you know, the Ray Allen. Uh, trying to find this in the, uh, the, the Allen Iverson is tough and very expensive. It's easier and cheaper to get his true extended series rookie. Uh, but it got me thinking, too, about uh, some of the other rookies. You know, there's a Kevin Garnett. Uh, I picked up a couple Tim Duncan 98s. And then I got a, uh, this is the first Peyton Manning one I have for my Peyton Manning collection that I'm getting around 20 bucks, 25 bucks a pop on this. You know, there's no guarantee that the cards are going to, to grade well, but my intention is not to take them out of the card or out of the packaging, but just to leave them in there. Uh, granted, I don't want to have in my office a bunch of starting lineups. You know, I start, my office is starting to look like a, a card shop from the uh, from the early 2000s. Uh, but as these things grow in value, uh, I think it's good to pick them up now while you can cheap. Not necessarily, you know, maybe for an investment piece, but more of a nostalgia piece as I kind of reconnect with my, my childhood and uh, the fact that, you know, Star Wars figurines, G.I. Joe figurines are way out of my price budget now. I think these starting lineups, the time is right, if you're interested, to go and pick some up uh, before they really... I'm not sure they'll blow up. Who knows? I'm not predicting the future one way or the other. But uh, the time is right to get these because I've seen them become hot lately. And I uh, just wanted to throw that out there to my viewers. Hope you guys uh, found this uh, interesting, maybe a little informative, maybe a little bit nostalgic. Once again, I appreciate post comments and I'll talk to you again soon.